you have a General Motors Ecotec 2.2 liter engine and have a 0031, 0037, 0135 or a 0141 check engine code as likely that it is your uh, upstream oxygen sensor and uh, today I'm going to replace that and it is on the exhaust manifold when it uh, leaves the engine and uh, it's kind of difficult to see but it is a 7 8 inch uh, socket that uh, you need to have to uh, remove it and uh, you can uh, typically get those from uh, automotive stores uh, on a loan a tool program uh, usually for free oh it's somewhat difficult to see uh, the wire coming out of the uh, um, oxygen sensor connects into a uh, weather pack connector here um, you uh, just simply pull on this tab and then pull it out. It is actually a receptacle on the other end. And uh, I uh, just pulled it out of the uh, holder there. And uh, that's what it looks like. And um, I'm going to try to uh, remove that now. What I'm going to do is clip the cord here and uh, just use a regular socket and uh, see if I can break it loose. I had clipped the wire here and uh, next I'm going to uh, remove this heat shield here. It's uh, held on by a couple of uh, 13 millimeters and uh, then uh, I'll have uh, access to the uh, oxygen sensor. Now with the two bolts removed from the uh, heat shield I can uh, just simply pick it up and pull it out of the way and it will give us a little better shot at the uh, oxygen sensor here and I'm simply going to put a uh, 7 8 um, socket over it and uh, take and uh, try to break it loose. I'm going to rock it back and forth a little bit if it sticks and uh, hopefully it will come out. Uh, there wasn't too much room for the socket, so I uh, was able to break it loose with a uh, 17 or a 7 8 uh, wrench. And uh, I did put a little, little bit of a PB blaster on there and uh, removed the old oxygen sensor. I have a new one here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and install that. What I have here is the uh, new oxygen sensor. It comes with a little plastic cap you remove. And this is a special uh, tool to uh, go ahead and install it where the wire can stick out of the side. And then we'll just screw it in and then uh, put a wrench on here and tighten it down. Due to the confined space down there, I had to uh, take and put a one inch wrench on the back and uh, try to tighten it up. And then I ended up uh, putting a uh, one inch socket on there with a small extension to uh, have enough room to uh, finally tighten it. And uh, now we'll just uh, reconnect the uh, weather pack connection. There has happens to be this tab right here and it fits in a hole in a bracket down here. It's uh, out of sight but uh, that's where it goes and we'll go ahead and plug in our uh, wiring connection after that. Now that the wire uh, pack is, uh, weather pack is reconnected we'll uh, try to make sure that the wires are uh, fully insulated and uh, moved out of the way and we'll reattach our heat shield. Now that the heat shield is uh, reattached by these uh, two bolts here, uh, we're all ready to uh, start it up, clear the codes, 
and uh, take it for a test drive.